Hi, it's Christy at the Burgundy Basket, and today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable crochet basket. You can use this for your holiday de decorating or any of your decorating year long. It's like a big fluffy bird's nest. Isn't that fabulous? So soft and squishy. So I've got some like little Christmas balls in it, but let me show you how to get started with that because anyone can make that. Over the summer, I got these two big giant balls at my local Michaels on clearance. They've kind of phased out this yarn. It's not really practical for most crochet projects. It's a roving uh, wool yarn, so you guys know if you've ever used this, it just pulls. It's like cotton balls, so it's not really a great yarn for most regular everyday crochet projects. But for this, it's really fabulous. But you might be able to pick up, they have, had a, have a little different type of this super chunky yarn now at the local craft stores. And so you might be able to pick up a ball that's a little bit different, but this method will also work for that. Now I've only got just a, the littlest bit, bit of this, um, this first one left. I've been using this in for, for some wall art. But let me show you how to get started. Let me show you with a clean side because I was playing with that side. So you would start your crochet how you normally start your crochet. If you're a beginner, what I like to show people how to do is to crisscross, make you an awareness ribbon symbol. You see the awareness ribbon there? With your working yarn piece on top, this is the piece you're gonna be pulling from, and then you're gonna go down into the hole, whether it's with your hook or your fingers, and you're gonna pull up a loop. And that's your first chain. And now you're gonna go down into the hole and pull up a loop and that's your second chain. So now you have two chains here. This is the first chain here, the second from your hook and we're gonna, or your fingers in this case. Now that we're gonna go into this starting hole and we're gonna make six single crochet to start our bowl. So insert into the hole your fingers, pull up a loop, Yarn over your fingers and pull through two. Insert into that hole, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through two. Insert into that hole, pull up a loop, yarn over and draw through two. And you're just gonna keep on going for this first round. We're gonna make six single crochet into that loop. five and this will be six. See how easy that is? Anybody can do this. What a fun piece. This is my starting tail. I got we pulled up in there. We're just going to push that back through and we'll weave it in at the end or not on this project because I'm like I said I'm going to be out of yarn here. So if you need to count back one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this will be your first crochet and to carry on with round two you would just go straight into this first crochet there and make two single crochet in that one because on this round you're going to be making two single crochet in each stitch around. So insert into that crochet your fingers, pull up a loop, you have two on the, your fingers, I want to say your hook, and then pull through. So one more time on this piece and then we're going to, I'll show you how to use that other one. So this is your second single crochet, insert your fingers, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two. Insert into that space there, pull up a loop, yarn over, and draw through two. And you would just keep going all the way around with your 12 single crochets on round two. And then for this bowl here, I used um, the six, 12 and then I did two rows straight 12 and then weaved in my end. So there's only four rounds on this bowl. Now, because I'm out of that yarn, I wanted to show you how to use this yarn because this, this is still in my Michaels. I don't know if it'll be in your Michaels. It's a little bit narrower, a little more spun down. Um, so it's a little more sturdy and easy to work with. But you would do the same thing here on your start. Awareness ribbon. Pull up a loop and pull up a second loop. That gives, is going to give you your second chain there. Now in the center hole here, you're going to just 
do like we just did before. You're going to pull up a loop, yarn through, go back into the starting chain, pull up a loop, pull through, I'm going to work over that starting tail there. Now this is three, go into that center hole, pull up a loop, and pull through. I was trying to work over that starting tail just a little bit so I could pull it a little bit. Don't you don't want to pull too much on this yarn because it will just tear right off. So now we're going to do three more here in that start. So pull up a loop, pull through, and I'll slow down on these last two. Let me push this out of the way. Insert into that hole. Pull up a loop, so you have two, and pull through with your fingers. Insert your fingers, pull up a loop, so you have two, and then pull through. So you have six now. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six right there. We're just going to treat that as six. Sometimes that first one will be a little wonky. All right, so now in this round, you're going to do 12 all the way around. So insert into your first one, pull up a loop, and you're going to make two single crochet in each one of these spaces around. Now I'm not gonna watch make you watch me do all 12. I'm gonna do 12 and then come back on and show you how to just keep on going. So this is four. All right, so do 12 all the way around and I'll come back to you. All right, so I finished my 12 here and you can see this little piece on the back where we started. You have to be really careful, but sometimes you can pull this just a little bit Pull really lightly because like I said this yarn will just shred right off but if you pull it really lightly that um, if you've worked over this tail a few stitches that should pull your um, center hold shut just a little bit and then you can just kind of weave this end in in the back just take it under a couple stitches if you want to just because this this wool or yarn or whatever this made out is made out of is a little bit sensitive dab a little fabric glue on that start if you want so it won't come done undone now this is my 12 this is where i am with my 12 now this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve because this yarn is a little bit smaller i'm actually going to increase on this round up to 18 and to go from 12 to 18 you're just going to make one single crochet in that first one and then you're going to make two in the next one so this is two and three and then you're going to make four well, well one but this will be single crochet number four in the next one and then two in the next one. So your, your method for going from 12 to 18 is one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, and you just repeat that all the way around. So that was six, this will be seven, and then these two will be eight and nine, eight and nine. So let me finish up my next nine and then I'm gonna come back to you again. All right, I just finished my 18, and this is be this will be a nice size bowl. This will be about the same size now as this first one that I made, because this yarn was a little bit skinnier. So now for the next couple of rounds, you're not going to do any increases. You're just going to work one single crochet in each single crochet around. So you're going to insert your fingers into that next single crochet and pull up a loop, and then pull through that yarn with your fingers there, just like we've been doing. So insert your fingers into this next single crochet and pull up a loop. So you have two, grab that with your fingers and pull it through. And now you're just gonna work around in a circle. You don't, I personally am not even gonna count. I'm just gonna work around in a circle until I feel like my bowl is the bowl basket, whatever, is the height that I want. And then I'm going to cut this yarn and I'm going to weave in my end. So I'm going to keep on working this one until it's done. But I've already got one ready for me to weave in the end. The one, the first one that I did for you to see is the first, um, this bowl here is 
12 single crochet around, so I did 6, 12, 12, 12. And this right here is the bottom of my basket where we've got that little straggler piece there where we started. And like I showed you a little earlier, just use your fingers and then just kind of weave this end in and out under some other pieces. If you want to use a little fabric glue or a little dab of hot glue to secure this when you get it in, that is fine because this does shred a little bit like cotton. Not as bad as that first one, but it will shred a little. And that's the bottom of your bowl. You can even turn this out if you want to so that, that the wrong side is on the end side and then the right side is on the outside. That's really pretty. But anyway, I've already done all of my rounds on this one. I've already cut my yarn. So for this one, I'm going to show you how to, when you finish off, like let's pretend this is my last stitch. When I go to pull this through two, I'm just going to keep on pulling, cut the yarn, and then just keep on pulling. You want a nice little tail. I've got about, you know, six or seven inches here. And then here at this end here, you want to kind of pull down just a little bit. And what I like to do is I like to just kind of go under these like that and then go back through that last stitch that you just made just poke it back down in there and then just pull through that and get that nice pretty finish there so now on the inside what I'm gonna do with this tail is I'm just gonna just like on the bottom I'm just gonna weave it in and out a couple stitches carry it down just a little bit and now I might even just tie one little loose knot right here. Go around that and through there. Tie one little loose knot. But be careful, like I said, this will pull, it'll pull like cotton, so don't yank on it too much. You don't want to finish your bowl and then rip off your yarn and not be able to hide that. But if you do that, that's okay. Just grab your glue bottle and put a little dab of glue and hide that tail in there somewhere. So now you see I've got that tail kind of all squished in there. I need to squish that one in a little more with my glue gun later there on the bottom. So that's my single, this is my single crochet 6, 12, 12, 12 bowl. And then this one right here will be a single crochet 6, 12, 18. And then I'll just work up until it's a height that I like and I'll weave in my end uh, just like I did before. So let me finish up this bowl and I'll show you the 18 single crochet bowl. All right, I'm back about to finish up my 18 single crochet basket. And I've done, I think, five rounds. One, two, three, four. I did five extra rounds straight up. So that'll be six, 12, 18. And then work five rounds straight up in 18 and get this nice big basket. I decided here at the end I was going to do a little bit of a reverse single crochet finish and that's just really simple. So you're going to do the same thing except you're going to go in reverse. So now I'm going to pull up a loop here and pull through and now I'm going to revert, go in reverse and just come back here and pull up a loop and pull through two and then come back here and go through. Pull up two. It's a little bit different working going from left to right. And then just do that all the way around. You can just finish if you want to with a regular slip stitch round as well. It'll look the same. Just have a nice little finish to your basket. And reverse. Pull through. Pull through. And now back here to the beginning where I started. Pull up the last loop there and then pull through. And then I would just cut this end here and weave it in just like I did before. And then I've got a nice large basket to go with my small basket. Look, they nest together as well. So cute, easy project. Great for your holiday de decorating. Thank you for watching. This is Christy at the Burgundy Basket.